Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Love Our Life. Today, I'm back at Universal Orlando Resort because there's something cool that just got put up in the park and I want to show you guys. So let's not waste any time. Come on and join me. Stepping into City Walk this morning, you can see they have updated something. There are food booths out here in City Walk. That is cool. Now I would imagine that these are gonna be kind of drink related since it is in City Walk, but it's cool. They may have some food that we're gonna to have to come out here and try, similar to what they did to uh, Mistletoe Pines last year. So here's this one. This one's a little bit different than the other ones that we've seen. This one is blue and uh, white. That's pretty cool. I like that. This one looks like it does have a um, like a heater for food, so maybe it will have food in some of them. Also, it's a little bit chilly here today. It's like 48. Um, it wouldn't be too bad if it wasn't for the wind. Wind's blowing kind of hard. But anyway, today's kind of unique because there's the Weasley's Uncelebration going on in the park, which is cool. So you're probably gonna see like a lot of people walking around with Harry Potter cosplay on. It's cool, we'll try to catch some. See what I'm saying? Alrighty. That's cool. And of course happening this weekend is Rock the Universe, January 27th and 28th. Skillet and a lot others. It's gonna be cool. We're not gonna be here, but it's gonna be cool. And right outside of the arches here, you can see this is where the youth leaders will check in right there that's cool okay now time to head inside the park and let me show you what I want to show you so we've been talking about something going on down Hollywood Boulevard so let's head down here let's take a look at what we're here today for and here we go here it is the new facade for the tribute store right here on Hollywood Boulevard you can see this is where the old pass holder lounge used to be and we were correct as it will span throughout these three buildings right here this is so cool man i love the look of it i love this up here too the ambassador ballroom live music nightly that's so cool. It's a bit of a closer look here. This is pretty cool. I love that look, man. Like it doesn't even seem, I mean, it does kind of like have a Mardi Gras theme to it, but this is cool. And you can kind of see here, they've put these little planters here too, which are cool. You can still see the uh, studio styles behind it, but this is awesome. I love that. So the Tribute Store will open to pass holders next Thursday, February the 2nd. It will be open for you to go in and check it out from noon until 6 p.m. because that's when the park closes. And then it will be open to regular guests, I'm assuming, either on Friday or on Saturday, the day of Mardi Gras, because Mardi Gras starts next Saturday. So we're super close. We're less than eight days away. It's gonna be cool. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Okay, now let's go see if we have some menus. Man, it's gonna be so cool. I know we're wasting all this time on just talking about the facade, but I was really worried they were gonna take the facades away, but the facades are here. So it works pretty good here, actually. Um, before I was thinking it would go over here, Williams of Hollywood, but actually it works really well right here in front of the old pass holder store or pass holder lounge. That's cool. And the stage here over by Central Park is completed. Ready to go for tonight. Looks good. I have like a little billboard here hanging, electronic billboard. It's awesome. Um, so over here in Hollywood, it looks like the artists are going to be. I don't recognize any of them, but that's cool. Now about the tribute store and what it's going to look like inside. I did overhear a conversation and I'm not going to tell you what I heard, but if this is the truth, this would be pretty cool. So, um, 
I'm gonna wait. There were some team members out there because they literally just finished it. I guess, well, I mean, I guess they finished it last night and they're showing everyone today. But what I saw, or what I heard, would be really cool if they do it. So, we'll have to wait till Thursday. By the way, guys, I'm here super early this morning. We have a live stream later tonight, so I wanna get back and get some rest before then, but so peaceful today. This is why it's always best to come to the park super early. So no menus over here at Battery Park yet. It'll be within the next couple of days and we'll update you guys as soon as that happens. So we just got some news that we didn't expect to happen. Hagrid's is actually gonna be closed for refurbishment from February the 21st till March the 5th. So it's just a couple of weeks. It's kind of crazy that it's going down for a refurbishment. I'm sure it needs to be done. And there's things that, you know, need to be fixed on it from time to time. But it's crazy. That's going to be a big mess. Making my way down to London now. So we're going to uh, see what's going on with the Uncelebration. Now going into San Francisco, this booth now has a facade. It's pretty cool. It's, I like the old school look. That's neat. Construction walls around Shea Alcatraz are still up. I'm not sure when it'll be done, but it looks like they're still doing some pavement work. So, you know, no big deal. And we have some more booths and facades done. This is cool. I like this one. This one's like a little tiki hut kind of ordeal. I like that. So, I don't know what's going to be here. Of course, it's going to all be food, but that's pretty cool. Really? Yeah. Right, time to go in. Now, it wouldn't be a trip in Diagon Alley without saying hello to Dragon. A lot of cosplay going on here today. I'm gonna try to get some of the costumes to show you guys, because this is pretty cool. So it seems like most of everyone is actually meeting over by the old tribute store. You see some outfits here. So I'm gonna have to head over there and see. But uh yeah, so I want to see exactly what else we can see here, but we'll have to head over there and find out. Thank you for tuning into the Wizarding Wireless Network. And now, a live performance direct from Diagon Alley, featuring that musical marvel, that delectable diva, the spectacular singing sorceress herself, Celestina Paul. I've made it back over here to New York, over here by the Fan Zone stage. And here's a look at the artists that are playing on Friday night, which is tonight. That's cool. All right, so there's supposed to be a photo op, 
going on down here somewhere for the uncelebration. So we're going to go over here and see if we can see everyone because I'm not dressed up, but everyone else is. These guys are having a good time this morning. <laughs> Looks like we have found everyone. Look at these costumes, man. So much detail and work have gone into them. They're all lining up here for a photo op. That is awesome. Oh, look, Dumbledore. That's awesome. The dragon ones may be my favorite. That's pretty cool. <laughs> that is so cool that they do this. Look at this big guy. That's so cool. So many good ones. Here's a little closer look at everyone. So this is not done by Universal. It's not put on by Universal, by the way. This is just a group here that gets together and does these together. It's just amazing. Get together for a whole day. This one's my favorite, officially. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's awesome. Heading out of the park, I had to check on Villain Con. Take a look. Like I said, we have banners here. There's also these little white things here. Could be wait times. Something like that. Very possible that that's what that is. I just noticed this after walking by. The entrance is blocked off to Minion Mayhem. Could just be uh, some pavement work they're having done. But yeah, wait time 70 minutes. All right guys, so that is it for me today from Universal Orlando. Quick update, just going around, checking out the Uncelebration, which was a lot of fun. It was really cool. Got to meet some of you guys today, and just letting you know, if you guys ever see us in the park, please come up to us and say hello. It really helps our day, and we love you guys, and we love to talk to you about your vacations. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Hit that like button and the notification bell so you know when our next video is coming out. And remember, the road goes ever on. I'll see you next time.